Okay. Good morning. I'm George Argo with Argo Electrical Services. This morning, we'll be changing out an electrical panel in a residential home, which is actually the YMCA for Oakwood, Georgia. Right now, we're going to drive a ground rod for the meter bay. This is an older home which does not conform to current code. This current meter base does not even have a ground rod. So we'll be driving the ground rod and attaching our grounded wire from here into the new panel. Thanks. Now Michael is driving his 5 8 eight foot ground rod. Michael will also have to drive a second ground rod because the county and city codes require that there be two ground rods driven at the meter base connected to the panel. Now Michael's gonna drive his ground rod all the way to the dirt. Once it gets close, he's gonna make the connection of his ground rod rod to the ground wire and then drive the ground rod completely under the dirt. Now Mike is measuring his grounding electrode to the actual ground rod and he's going to put his acorn nut on the ground rod and then continue to drive the rod to the dirt and then tighten up his ground wire. Now Michael has taken off the cover for his interior electrical panel. It's a 150 amp panel. I'm going to pull the cover off now and begin to take out the old panel. Now Michael's taking the feeder wires out of his 150 amp interior electrical panel. He's loosening these main lugs with Allen wrenches. You can see he's careful not to skin the insulation on the existing wire. He's already loosened all his breaker, so all he's got to do is pull the hot wires out. Now Michael is scoring the paneling so he can put in his new 150 amp panel. Generally, the new 150 amp panel have more spaces for the convenience of the customer, and it is also a taller panel. So Michael has to allow for the distance so his feeders are still long enough and his panel will fit into the existing wall. Now Michael is starting to fish his branch circuit wires out of his panel. You can see he scored the wood down to where he can fit his new panel in and he's pulling the old ones out. You can also notice that the old panel did not have any connectors into the electrical panel itself. This is a violation of the National Electrical Code. Now Michael's removing the bottom feeders and the actual feed to the panel itself from the meter base. He's being careful not to skin the wires Now Michael is pulling the knockout pieces out of the top of his panel. Then he's going to place the handy plastic knockout insulators that the residential code allows for half inch knockouts. Now Michael is finishing the termination of the 150 amp panel for the city of Oakwood at the YMCA house. He's trimming up his 50 amp feeders for the furnace. Now Michael is knocking out the insert the square D panel cover. You have to count the number of breakers you have and then knock out the appropriate set. If you knock out too many, you'll have to get a plastic filler blank. And now Michael's putting on the panel and finishing up the final touches. 
Thanks for watching our video. Once again, I'm George Argo with Argo Electrical Services. Give me a call at 678 682-0387. This is our 150 amp panel install for the city of Oakwood and the YMCA. I'm now flipping on the breakers so that the customer will have power when the power company turns it on. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.